Welcome back to Kim's Creations. Okay, look what I've got here. This is an old canvas, and I will link the video to this up here. But I didn't, I mean, I liked what I did. It got some very cool cells, and it has a very watery feel to it. But on its own, it didn't really call to me that much. So what I've decided is I was just gonna put it aside until I got some inspiration as to what to do with it. Well, boy, did I ever get some inspiration. Um, if you've seen a previous video of mine, I did a mandala using um, these forms that you can pick up from um, pourawayarts.com and I'll put their uh, website right here on the screen. It'll also be in the description below. Well, then I remembered that I that they had this Lily series. So I ordered them up. I got them in the mail a couple days ago and I thought this is going to be perfect. So I've got my Lily pads here and my beautiful flower and I'm going to just mix up some resin so that I can dip these forms into the resin and then seal them onto my canvas. So I will be right back once I've got the resin mixed up. I'm back and I've mixed up about three ounces of resin here. Okay, let's see, let's see. Yeah, that'll work. So I'm just dipping it in there. I'm gonna use my tweezers. Move that sucker around a bit. Oh yeah, this tweezer thing's gonna work well. Put it right. There. Welcome back. So I decided I was going to paint just with acrylic paint, actually from Artist Loft, the Flow Acrylic, straight from the bottle to cover up some of my lily pads. As I was doing it, I was thinking, why am I doing this when I'm going to use opaque colorant to um, you know, make my lily pads green when I add it to the resin. So I am using Let's Resin um, Macaron Resin Dye, and there's 18 colors that were in this box. So I have chosen three of them. I don't know which ones I'm gonna use because I've never used them before. So um, I decided I would leave these ones without uh, the white background or base for it. And, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. So let's see what happens. So I have mixed up some resin here in a cup. I'm not going to need all of this, but I am planning on decanting into these little cups. And uh, we'll mix up a few colors and see what we think. So, I'm going to start with this one. It says it is green. All right, here we go. Just a little start with one and uh, go from there. All right, so here's black. Give that a good shake. And I'm just gonna add this in one at a time because I don't want that black to overpower. Let's see. Let's 
Hmm. I don't know. So I've made this custom color here. I think it'll be okay. Shall we try it? Let's try it. one. Actually, what is this one? Apple green. Now it's time to work on my actual lily flower. If you look at photos of these water lilies, um, the leaves on the outside tend to be the lightest color, and then they kind of migrate into the darker colors as you get into the middle. And the very middle has um, yellowish stamen.
welcome back. Now here is the dried piece. And I wanted to show you a big mistake that I made. <laughs> so I noticed some schmutz, just, you know, the flotsam jetsam that you get flying through the air that had landed on my lily pads as the resin was curing. And in my infinite wisdom, read sarcasm, I was picking at one, but the resin was already curing. So I picked it out and of course the resin came up in this big mound and I thought, okay, I can just torch it and it'll flatten back down. Now, if the resin hadn't cured as much as it had, that would have worked, except it didn't. It actually bubbled up and hardened and now I have a hole <laughs> where that resin was. So seeing as how this was already kind of damaged by me, I decided, well, I'm going to just get a, um, get some sandpaper, very fine sandpaper, and I'll get out the other schmutz bits. I'm gonna sand off the remaining of the resin that's on here, and I did this once it was all fully cured. These are all hard, hard, hard. Now what I'm gonna do is I have mixed up some clear resin, just a little, little bit, and I am going to cover this with clear resin and then I found this cute little thing. Look at this. I actually saw Julie Cutts on one of her videos. She was doing a uh, resin 3D bloom and she put one of these in it. And I thought these are so cute. And as I'm getting more and more into resin, I ordered some. Well, two days later, I had my aha moment. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that my little bee right on my lily pad and no one will know that I had this issue. Now people could say, well, Kim, why didn't you just make up some more colored resin? You could fill it in and I wouldn't need this. That is true, you could do that as well. However, this was a custom green, if you'll remember. I was mixing all kinds of stuff into it, so I would never be able to replicate this shade. And so that's why I'm doing what I'm doing here with this. And I think that'll look pretty perfect. So let's get started. So as I said, I've mixed up some resin and when you put clear resin down and, um, and you've already kind of uh, shaved or sanded uh, your piece, it doesn't matter what you're doing. If you're doing other projects and using resin as a top coat, if you need to get the schmutz out, just um, once it's cured, get some very fine sandpaper, sand it out, uh, dust it off, make sure it's completely dust free, and then you can cover it again um, and it'll look like nothing ever happened. So don't freak out when you use the sandpaper because you'll think, oh my gosh, I've completely ruined it. Don't worry, you haven't. And in this case, this is gonna work perfectly because my resin is gonna fill that little hole and it's also gonna act as the glue for my little bumblebee. So that's what I'm gonna do. You just need a super thin layer and I'm just pushing that resin out. Okay, I'm gonna get my bee ready. Here we go. Perfect. And there it is. That's it. So now I'm gonna cover that up and I will be back to show you the complete final piece. 
So here it is. It went from ripples on a pond to a lily pond and from eh to wowzers. So keep your paintings if they don't call to you. And thank you, of course, for watching. Please hit like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.